Every couple minutes, more and more fish show up. Look at this pile of fish. We are back in the metro fishing another new lake. Never fished this lake. I don't know what to expect. All I know is it's got some crappie and it's got some pretty good sized crappie. My hopes are we can get into either a lot of fish tonight or we can get into a few bigger fish. I don't know what to expect. Like I said, never fished the lake. But as you guys can see, we have got the tent set up. I wanted to get everything ready to go before it starts snowing. We're supposed to get three or four inches of snow tonight while we're fishing, so that should be fun. All I know is we have everything set up. We have everything ready to go. The only thing left is to see if some crappie come through tonight. We're gonna hop in the tent, we're gonna start getting ready, and we're gonna catch some fish. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. All righty, we are gonna get started here. Looks like there is a few fish under us. They're not looking like really big marks, but there is definitely some fish under us. Some of them aren't looking too bad either. Let's throw a dead stick down first and then we can drop down our jig and bait. But I wanna have a dead stick down just in case these fish are a little bit more finicky and want a dead stick. I'm gonna throw down a crappie minnow. And we're gonna see how aggressive these fish are. It looks like a big school of fish. I'm hoping these are crappie and not some gills. I mean, we're gonna find out guys, aren't we? Let's drop down. I'm hoping there's some bigger fish down here as well. It looks like some smaller marks, but it doesn't mean there's nothing bigger close by. Our jigging presentation is a small little Acme tungsten tipped with a small crappie minnow. I'm gonna start small with these littler baits. I can always upsize, but it doesn't hurt starting small. Let's see if these guys wanna give it a smack here. Here we go, this little guy's coming up. Looks like a pretty small mark, but a fish is a fish. Come on, smack it, buddy. There we go. Got him, really small tap, but he ate it. All right. Now this is probably one of the smallest crappie I've caught in a very long time, but I'm out here to catch fish, and we just caught a fish. There are some bigger marks, so it's just a matter of time before we get them, but I'll take it. Maybe a little fish, but it's still a fish. We just gotta hope this doesn't turn into a micro fishing video, but there she is guys. Definitely a small fish. I'm hoping some bigger ones wanna make their way through. I'll take it though. Like I said, fish to fish. We just got here, it's been about five or 10 minutes and we've already caught one. I had to switch to a wax worm. I wasn't getting very many fish to wanna eat the spoon, but we got this one to eat a wax worm. May have been a fairly small fish, but it was still a fish. And there are some marks a lot bigger than that on my screen right now. So I'm sure if we give it time, just like that, just ate the dead stick. That one just ate a minnow. So that's a good sign. They're wanting the minnows. My bobber just shot down. Pull it up, there we go. Feels definitely bigger than the last one. Nothing massive by any means, but okay. He was a little bit camera shy, popped off right at the hole. That's all right. We still got him to eat. That's a good enough sign for me. He was willing to eat. So they do want these crappie minnows, which is a really good sign. It wasn't a terrible fish, probably about eight inches. So there's definitely some good crappie in this lake. That is a fact. They're not all small. I was starting to get worried there for a second, but that didn't take long. They seem to be pretty aggressive now. I'm gonna get this dead stick right back down and see if another one comes out and smacks it. I'm gonna jig this thing around a little bit. They're definitely aggressive. We've been here probably seven minutes now and the fish have been killer. Let's see how long it takes for that fish to take the dead stick down. He's on it, he's interested. Now it's just a matter of time. Oh, we got a fish coming right up to my wax worm. Let's see if he hits it. He's coming up pretty aggressively. My guess is he's gonna give it a little tap. They're aggressive, but they're finicky at the same time. They're aggressive enough to come up but they're not hammering it. They're just slowly kind of slurping it in. Got him. I was just waiting for that little tap. This is another pretty small fish. Yeah, a little bigger than that last one. I guess a little bigger than the last one we actually brought up. Smaller than the one we missed. But I was kind of guessing this was a pretty small fish. I was giving him time to eat there. And sure enough, he gave it a little tap. Still, another small fish. I'm hoping this isn't just one. Oh, my dead stick is is down. I'm gonna show you guys this one real quick. Let's get this guy back in the water. 
Lost this one. All right. Took the dead stick down, but didn't fully commit. It's a good sign, though. It's been maybe 10 minutes, and they're pretty, pretty aggressive, I've noticed, weirdly. As soon as I catch one, my other rod goes off at the same time. Interesting. But they're definitely aggressive. That is what I like to see. Bobber went down as soon as I brought this guy up. It was going up and down, up and down, until all of a sudden just shot right down. Could have given him a little bit more time, but never know. Just a swing and a miss. That'll happen. I gave that other one a lot of time to eat there. Maybe that's what I got to do. They're not hitting it super aggressively. They're kind of just pulling it down. My dead six going nuts right there. I like that. But they're definitely aggressive enough to eat it. So let's get this bait down and let's make something happen. Oh, this guy's coming right up. Let's get this one too. He's going to smack it. No reason he comes up this hard and doesn't eat. Oh, he hit it. Didn't stay on, but he hit it. It's a good sign. These fish are definitely acting a lot more aggressive now. Man, I'm just not seeing huge, huge marks. I was really hoping to see some just super thick marks, but there's definitely fish. They may not all be massive, but there's definitely fish. My dead stick's going nuts right there too. Oh yeah. They're definitely biting now though, now that it's getting a little bit later. I know this lake's got a bunch of big crappie, so there's no reason that we can't get on something big. At least over eight inches. I'm seeing some marks. I mean, look at all these fish. This lake is absolutely loaded with fish. This is one of the three or four spots I found in this lake when I was using live scope tonight. And this one looked the most promising. It's got the most fish. I wanted to catch a whole bunch of fish. There were some other spots that looked like they had some slightly bigger fish, but not nearly as many. I wanted to start out with trying a spot that's got a bunch of fish and seeing if there's possibly some bigger fish mixed in. And there's definitely some good marks, but they're not super, super aggressive tonight. We'll see. Maybe as it gets later in the night, they're going to be popping off. Who knows? For now, I'm just going to focus on catching some fish and having a good night. And also chowing on my peanut butter Ritz crackers. Mm -hmm. Oh. Got him. If you haven't heard me say it before, if you start eating, the fish are gonna start eating. And sure enough, it's been about 10 minutes without a bite. I take a nibble and the fish takes a nibble as well. These fish aren't massive, but I've definitely seen some big marks. If we're just gonna catch small ones, we're just gonna catch small ones. I'm here to catch fish and this lake's loaded. It is just absolutely loaded with fish. I know it's got big ones, so we're gonna find them or we're not gonna find them, but no matter what, we're gonna catch some fish. Here she is, guys. Nice little guy, absolute beauty. These fish are gorgeous. It doesn't matter the size. To me, a crappie's a crappie. And sure enough, we're catching them. That is all that matters to me. If you guys haven't been able to tell yet, the drone footage from the intro of this video is not the lake we're at right now. I'll say that. And along with that, the intro is also a different lake than the lake we're at right now. I got up at nine o'clock. By 10 o'clock, I was fishing a lake called Lake of the Isles and tried that lake and sure enough, it was decent, but not good enough for a video. So I went and fished Turtle Lake and that lake was also caught fish, but nothing good enough for a video. So we're at lake number three. I got here at about 11 o'clock at night. So yeah, the intro, that was Turtle Lake, fished that for five hours, did decent. It was good, I liked how it turned out. I just, honestly, I don't think it was good enough for a video. So we're trying lake number three and we're gonna see how lake number three turns out today. So yeah, it's been about 13 hours now of fishing. It's been a grind today, but I wasn't gonna stop after the first two lakes. I wanted to get a video out and I wanted to catch some more fish. So we are at new lake number three we're going to catch some more fish today, guys. If you guys were wondering why the drone footage and the intro and right now is a little bit different, that's because it was three different lakes. You can't stop after two lakes. When you're, you know, you got a little bit of a fishing addiction, you just got to keep on keeping on. And we're going to keep fishing, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. 
I might switch up baits a little bit, see what these fish want to eat. Clearly, they like the dead stick minnows. They're liking the wax worms. I might try upsizing, see if they're fairly aggressive for that, but from what it looks like, these fish aren't insanely aggressive. They're just aggressive enough to eat. They're not hammering it or anything. So I'm gonna stick to the presentations I got right now and see how it takes us tonight. I am seeing some slightly better marks as it starts getting a little bit later. It's about 12 o'clock at night right now. So it's starting to get pretty late into the night, but the crappie are here, as you guys can see, piles and piles of fish. Oh, my dead stick's going crazy. I like that. Come on, take it down. It's definitely a minnow type of night. Yeah, it's about half down. I just want to see that bobber just shoot under. Come on. Let's see it. He's definitely interested in it. There's no way he doesn't eat. He's been sitting on that dead stick for five minutes now. Just take it. It's pretty much under. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. I'm going to give him a second here. Make sure he gets it. Got him. There we go. Doesn't feel terrible. It's giving me a semi-decent fight here. Get up here, buddy. No, you're not too bad at all. That's awesome. There we go. Something a little bit bigger than the last one. Honestly, these fish have been so small. I'm just happy to see something bigger. I'm going to throw down a minnow in my other rod and start jigging that around. Because, I mean, with the, as you guys can see, probably 150 small marks down here. I want to get the big ones. How big is this? I'm guessing around 8 inches. You are... Wow, these fish are always bigger than I expect. You are, oh, no way. There's no way this fish is 11 inches. I always think my crappie are smaller than they are, but there's no way this fish is 11 inches. There's no way. Tail's right there, the mouth goes right into the 11 inches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But it's not all of 11. That's the thing. It goes to 11, but it's not all of 11. It's like 11 and like one third. I'm going to use my phone to measure it too. That is, a, there's no way this is 11 inches. Okay, well, maybe it just looks small to me. I'm sorry. But this is 11 inches. I can see it. Well, here she is, guys. Must just look smaller to me, but I've measured it twice. One on my phone and one with the ruler. She is 11 inches. Absolute beauty. Beautiful, beautiful fish. It's nice to catch something a little bit bigger, finally. Give you a kiss. Get you right back in the water, buddy. Thank you for being a part of today's video. Awesome, yeah. What are you doing? Do? All right, well, he's back. I just sent him down the hole. He turned around and came right back onto the ice. Don't know what he's thinking, but that's awesome. That is amazing. Good to see. Good to see some decent fish. That is what I love to see. I'm gonna send back down this dead stick and hopefully that is not the last good crappie we're gonna see. Had to go through a couple little guys before we caught something nice, but I'll take it. It took two lakes today before we found a finally good lake. But we found one, and that is all that matters. It makes it feel so much better, if this makes any sense to you guys. If I was just to come out here and never fished any lake in the area, drop down and automatically find fish, it would just, it wouldn't feel as good to me. And just automatically start catching 12, 13 inches, it would just take the fun out of it for me. I enjoy the challenge, that's just me. And that's why I'm not the biggest fan of dead sticks or tip ups, because I really don't see a challenge in them. But they work, you know what? Don't get me wrong, they're effective, they work. When I fish one lake for five hours, it doesn't produce what I'm really looking for. I move to another lake, it still doesn't produce. And then I come to a third lake after already fishing 10 hours. I come to a third lake and use my live scope for 30 minutes, go through different depths, different spots until I find some big schools of fish, drop down and actually have to work for the fish. It feels a hundred times better to catch that fish, that fish we just caught. If I was to catch that, the first fish at the first spot, it would not have felt that good or that much of an achievement as going to three different lakes, fishing a whole bunch of different spots at each lake and putting in 10 hours and then catching that fish feels so much better to me. So much more of an accomplishment and I'm happy. 
made this whole day worth it to me. That is for sure. I care more about the challenge than I actually do the fish. A lot of people just like, don't care. I do. That's the difference. I'm going to go back to eating my Ritz crackers and I will see you guys at the next fish. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Give it a few seconds and we got them. Nice. This feels like a good fish too. Get up here, buddy. Ah, oh, you're not as big as I thought. You were giving me a good fight though. I will take it. You ate the minnow though, so I appreciate that. Dead stick is what is getting the job done today, guys. Not a monster, but another good fish. And they are loving the minnow. All right, I'm gonna send down a little bit bigger minnow and see if it possibly gets rid of some of these smaller guys. We'll see, let's get this bait sent down and wait for the next fish. I mean, honestly, every couple minutes, more and more fish show up. Look at this pile of fish everywhere. Every single depth there is, there's a fish. Everywhere from all the way right on bottom to a couple feet under the ice. There's fish sitting there waiting for my bait. This is awesome. We definitely found a good spot. It's got tons of fish. May not have those massive 12 plus inch crappie I'm looking for. I'm sure they're here, but may not have them at this exact spot. If I give it enough time, I could probably move around, try some different spots and find them. But for now, I mean, it's warm in here. It is snowing and pretty dang cold out there. Not sure how much longer I'm gonna stay out here. It's currently one o'clock. And I've been gone for, oh man. It's been 15 hours I've been gone. No, I left at nine. Nine nine's nine is 12. 10, 11, 12, one. I've been gone 16 hours. I'll be home by two o'clock. Good 17 hours of on the move looking for some fish and we found them. We definitely found them. I mean, that screen is looking like a Christmas tree. It is so lit up. I'm just, honestly guys, you know, you spend three and a half thousand dollars on live scope. You'd think the pole it comes with wouldn't fall apart every couple minutes. Honestly, I always have to keep doing this. It never gets talked about either. I don't see anybody else talking about this, but I've talked to my buddies and they have the same problem. The pole falls apart, always falls apart. Like you would think you spend this much money, you wouldn't have problems, but no, you definitely have problems. That's all right. It's not the end of the world. I can always get a summit pole or a different pole, but every time I take it out of the water, it falls apart. So weird, so annoying and weird. But right now it's 33 degrees, quite nice out. And it looks like it's gonna be 30 and above during the day from now on. Nights aren't gonna drop below 10 either, so. Well, the ice fishing season's gonna be gone here soon, that's for sure. That is a fact. It's starting to get windy. Okay, I was not really expecting it to get this windy. I do wanna move my heater then. If it's gonna be pushing this thing onto it. What is the wind looking like? It was six mile per hour winds a couple hours ago. It's gonna get 12, 14, 20. Okay, it's gonna get windy tonight. All righty, great. All right. I do like that though. I'm not a big fan of fishing and just the calm temperatures. I like something a little crazy. Snowstorms, wind, rain anything that changes the barometric pressure is gonna do your fishing a solid that is for sure and right now fishing's pretty dang good i will say that i'm thinking as soon as it starts getting later into the night the fish start turning on a whole lot more i mean i'm getting strikes every five ten minutes so the fishing's definitely turned on and they're super super aggressive so now the question is how are we going to get that big one? That's what I'm always here for. I'm always here to get the monster. But I'll take numbers when I can get them. But, I mean, with a pile of fish like this, it's almost unbelievable. It doesn't get much better than this. First time at this lake and it's just piles of fish. Gotta love it. I absolutely gotta love it. I guess I shouldn't say... It depends what you consider a lake. It's Minnetonka. It's just not a bay of Minnetonka I've fished before. I consider this a whole new lake. I mean, it is... 
pretty much as far away from any of the other bays I fished. So it's a new bay to me and it's got fish. I consider it a new lake. It all depends what you guys kind of consider a lake to be. You can consider it Minnetonka, even though it's just one of uh, the lakes connected to Minnetonka. I think it's got its own name. I honestly didn't look. I just kind of put it in Google Maps and went with it. Pretty sure it's probably got its own name though. That's for sure. Who knows? There's fish here. They're hungry. They're biting. My dead stick's going absolutely nuts. Now we just got to wait. When will the dead stick go down? It's been bobbing up and down for quite a little bit. Now I just got to wait for it to just kind of slowly sink. Oh, I like that. And my bobbers. Yep, it's down. There we go. I'm going to give him a second here and got him. Gave him an extra second to make sure he was on. It seems like the dead stick is doing a good 90% of the work here. Even after I switched to a minnow, they don't seem to like it too much when I'm jigging it. Not exactly sure why, but they really like the dead stick. And I'm not going to complain. If they like it, they like it. As long as they're eating, they're eating. This is another little guy though. I even switched to a bigger minnow expecting there to be some bigger fish, but no. Same size fish. I'm just hoping to see some more of the big guys. Here she is, guys. Little guy. Very, very little guy. But it's a fish. I'm going to drop this thing back down. And definitely the later it gets in the night, the more fish there is. I'm hoping the later it gets in the night, the bigger fish there is as well. We'll have to find out. Bait is back down. It's the same minnow. Seems like the minnow survived that pretty well. So I'm going to send it back down and get ourselves another fish game plan catch one more fish hope it's a big one and start packing up because it's currently 1 30. i am going to start putting away some other stuff though i'll start taking some stuff to the truck while we're waiting here grab a minnow start putting the minnow bucket in the truck start putting some of this stuff in the truck start packing up kind of cleaning this place out and then we can always stay here a little bit longer after that. Alrighty. Well, that is going to be the end of the video. Waited about 30 minutes and nothing. No more taps. I took all one rod, had one other rod down for 15 minutes and still nothing. So tried switching up baits a little bit and it was just dead. We gave it a try though. We caught some fish, nothing absolutely massive. We caught one super nice crappie, a bunch of decent crappie, and then quite a few little guys. We caught fish. I came out today, I wanted to find a new lake that produced some fish. And sure enough, we found a new lake that produced a ton of fish. As you guys know, I love fishing new lakes because it gets me out of my comfort zone and I can try new techniques and new tactics to try to find fish on different lakes. And we came out today, lake number three, and we absolutely hammered them. We spent about two hours out here. We caught some fish. We had a good time and nothing wrong with that at all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Slowly the ice fishing season is coming to an end. So I don't know how many ice fishing videos I'm going to still be producing, but at the end of the ice season, I'm going to switch over to fish in the river pretty hard. So stay tuned for some more walleye river videos, some smallmouth river videos, and just uh, some trout videos. Possibly if you guys are into that, I do a lot of trout fishing as well. I love small streams and catching some big grounds. So Look forward to some new videos coming later this year. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.